Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I am Cody from Mr. 4 AM Builds and today we're going to talk packouts. Are they worth it? Who they're for? And how much stuff you can fit into them? Let's get into it. This is the one that started it all. The three drawer in the two drawer with the top. The top of this sits just under 37 inches. For a reference, I'm 6'2", and it is a, uh, it's a pretty good height. It's got a hook for drills. And one to hold the milk crate with my tool belt. It's got a worktop. And a slot for the dolly. To start out, we're gonna take a look at what's in the top box, because I always like to start out on top. As I mentioned before, on top, I do have the work surface. I enjoy having that on there. It gives you a good spot to just kind of keep all your stuff organized. If you have a little can of stain or something open, or you want to put your, lay your drill bits out on top, that's good. It, uh, it does come off if you ever want to put more things on top of it. And it's ridden in the back of my truck a few times and never flown off, so it's pretty sturdy. In the top drawer, I like to keep three batteries. I keep some electrical tape and painter's tape, a little sanding block, keep my gloves, earplugs, a good spot for your marker and for your pencils. It's nice those don't roll around. A pencil sharpener, my safety glasses, just some odd and end knife, little chisel, little carpenter's pencils, great spot for your truck keys. And also this is where I keep my plastic wood and then a little cleaner for my, for my safety glasses as well. In the second drawer down, I like to keep uh, five sizes of cabinet screws. Then I keep the four sizes of trim head screws. Keep a few Craig screws in here as well. Also, I like having a little variety pack of the screws that go in for outlets that keep those in. Then I have all of my, all of my bits for the different drills and everything. And I like to just keep those all chalked up in their own thing so you don't have to switch those around in an extension, a little pre-drill. And this one, just another variety pack. And then I got some drill bits in there. And here, I like to keep the countersink drill bit. That thing's really nice. Drawer three, again, I like to use as kind of like a catch-all. I'll just keep some clamps and a pry bar in there. Occasionally, I'll even put the smaller drills in here as well. In this top drawer, I like to go with my jigsaw with the blade just shoved right into the foam. It's always handy to have. The multi-tool with the sanding disc. And then over here, I have all of the blades and accessories for the multi-tool. Sets down nicely in there. And then all my jigsaw blades. Here in this bottom drawer, this one takes a pretty good use of space. I have the 18 gauge DeWalt gun. And then I have the 23 gauge pin nailer from Milwaukee. And then I also have all the nails. I have the 18 gauge on this side in here. And then I have the 23 gauge pin nails here. So those all fit, fit in there pretty nicely. that barely closes. And then also here on the door, I do just kind of marked out some sizes for nails because occasionally you got them sitting around in there, you just need to check a size. You can just lean them right up against there and check it. Here's a little dolly that I have for the bottom. It's just a pack out attachment that I just have screwed to it. It's a sheet of three quarter inch plywood on the top and bottom. And then right here in the middle, it's just two half inch sheets. And then that leaves enough of a gap that the, um, dolly can slide right through it and it can actually slide through from either direction. And it comes in pretty handy that it's on wheels so the wind's down here in the shop or if I take it to somebody's house I can just sit there and I can wheel it around and move it a little bit without dragging anything on the floor or having the big dolly inside their house the whole time. We'll 
store down on top again with the milk crate. Occidental leather tool belt, best one in the business. So in the bottom of the milk crate, I have some odd end tools that I use sometimes, but they're always handy to have. The smaller square, the 25 foot tape stud finder, the digital tape measure, and the crow's foot. But then also I have the rubber mallet here and you usually either have that or your hammer on you. So if I don't have that on, I can put the hammer in there. In this one, I just keep all my small number six screws, the drywall anchors, some odd men, thicker screws, the stuff for the boom gun, the felt pads for the feet that we know that we have, but we can never seem to find. Here they are. A couple lag bolts if I got an odd, odd men project going on. Again, some more Craig screws. These little guys, if you're just trying to move a wire somewhere. So this is just kind of like almost like a catch all for all my screws and stuff. This one's probably one of my favorites. I seem to take it everywhere. I have all different sizes of Phillips head screws, including four inch screws. You never know what you're gonna need. Your impact sockets, Imperial and metric for the smaller impact ones, Forstner bits. And then we have two little trays of Adnan bits for the drills, because you're always gonna break one at some point in time. Can't forget this guy. It's not a pack out, but I do really enjoy having it in my truck. This one I carry shop rag, heat gun, because I work for a snowplow company in the wintertime and a construction company, so we have a lot of frozen locks. Flashlight, battery, the half inch impact gun with the socket that goes on my truck. So I usually take this on any road trips that me and my family are gonna go on. It's just a nice little peace of mind knowing that I can just, if I get a flat tire, I got a light, I got this, I got the socket, I got a moving blanket. When I take my boat somewhere, I put the boat socket in here and I don't have to worry about any of that. So let's get down to it. Do I think the pack outs are worth it? Yes. No. no. Yes. No. Maybe. So I guess I really don't have an answer. You really need to weigh all the factors and actually just see how you're gonna use them. Um, they're extremely durable, they're really cool, which is awesome. Uh, you can do a lot of really cool things with them, but they're also pretty expensive and they do get very heavy when you start to load them down with stuff. And it's sometimes you start putting things in and you realize they're not as big as you thought they were. So maybe just a toolbox for $400 that's 40 inches or you know 52 inches, a big toolbox might be something better down your option. Hey fam, I appreciate you watching the video of me talk about the Milwaukee Packout system that I have and the setup that I use. Hopefully you learned something so you can make an educated decision if you want to get them or not. So in the meantime, get out there, buy cool tools, build cool stuff, and tell your friends about it. See ya. Because I always like to start off. To <laughs> me, Jesus Christ. And hopefully you, oh, Jesus, why did I learn losing things to say?